Can you hear that? What is What is that? What is Oh All right. Alrighty, so we have the rats here in front of me, rats. and it's a bit of a change of pace from our review last week with the Glorious Mouse. Those are aiming to be some of the lightest, best FPS mouse in the game. They're looking at taking on the top end esports motif, as it were, or position. That's that's where they want to be. Okay, these are a bit different. Now the rats had a cult following before, and they were actually pretty well made, if not a little bit under spec in a way because they came with laser sensors it did limit them as far as fps games go when you when you go left to right in a laser it will literally heartbeat bump up or down randomly completely random acceleration would be, sometimes be random so it would be very difficult to be consistent all the time so luckily for those that are interested in these products as fps gaming mouse these have all been changed to optical now they start at 16,000 dpi 12,000 10,000 etc and they get lower and lower one thing that i really really like off the bat that these guys did was they put the sensor information right on the side of the box a lot of the time uh, competitors and stuff or, or people in the market tend to uh, marketing jargon and not give you the holistic treat of the product that you're buying none of that will be happening over here which is just 10 out of 10 as a starting off point that was really nice look all of them are relatively similar in their shape but their feature sets do differ as we go you know obviously higher up and down uh, you've got the 16,000 dpi 60g super boss in this end and then this guy what i mean it's a little 2000 dpi uh, 10g acceleration so this is more very casual gaming just point and click stuff office mouse level right through to professional gaming grade laser or professional gaming grade optical as i've noted which is much 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 better now the rad 8 plus okay this is much much better priced than it had been previously and with at the price range it's going to be very difficult for you to find something that's as well built as this both the rat 8 plus and the rat 6 have aluminium uh, cast shells so they are a little bit heavier i've got them with the full weight complement in which does make them pretty much i mean especially this rat 8 plus it's so heavy it has its own gravitational pull and small items in your desk will go towards it now <laughs> i'm kidding it can be lightened up so that's one of, the, one of the big pluses of these rats is the level of customization. So for instance, if I undo this weight section over here, whoops, almost lost that, and take these out, it does make a considerable difference. Each of these I think is a 10 gram, um, so they are quite substantial. You could even leave that off technically, and then you'd be able to just use it like that, which does make it a lot nicer. Now these have very, very specific shapes to them. They are definitely a bit more of a claw shape as the back end doesn't have a complete uh, rounded area to it. You can use it either or though because they are extendable. So these can extend the, and this specific one, it can come off and there are other plates that you can put in with this on the back on the 8 plus. So the 6 is very similar to that, uh, it, they both have these really nice side scrolls on them which was a nice little addition I might say for browsing, I don't know about gaming application with that, where you would where you would maybe need to use it but some of you might like having a scroll going sideways, actually I think about a Tarkov could benefit from that where you've got your lean mechanic you could actually put it on the scroll so you could lean in and out of objects uh, with that for instance which is which is quite nice uh, two thumb buttons on these guys dedicated sniper button as well uh, rat 8 exactly the same then we come down to the rat 4 now this differs in quite a number of ways quite critically one of them being that the base is now made from plastic which creates a lot better weight distribution the back is still extendable so you can still take it in and out and this one would honestly be my pick for the fps gamers now the funny thing about this mouse is it's actually only rated for 30g i tried my absolute hardest to make it skip out while flicking it around and i literally just couldn't so even with a 30g sensor you're still going to be able to really get relatively high up and as far as the fps level gaming goes um it, it won't skip out so the tracking was 
was pretty much succinct with what I had experienced on 50G mouse, uh, the frame rate and everything. Everything worked like really nicely. And um, the pricing, that's the best part is these are starting at like 1,300 Rand for a Rat 8 Plus with this kind of build quality and customization that you have in these devices. Uh, we'll do a little pop up for each one's price. Um, but the, the overall experience of it is Mad Cat is back they're back with their own unique design and it is very unique. I do think once you get used to this shape, it will be very difficult to go back to a normal uh, sort of ergo mouse. I have, I do know of a lot of people that had Rat9 wirelesses that absolutely swear by them and some of them are still working and they'd been out of the market, what, like three, four, five years. So there's, there's definitely a quality to their build. Uh, like I said, the plastics and materials and stuff are much better. I just the weight, if you're not into heavy mass and um, you are a, a, a flick master, then it's going to be very difficult to game on the steel bodies because they are going to feel very heavy. And it feels it feels exceptionally heavy to me because I've been playing on a 68 gram uh, Model O. So it's going from that to this is it's doubling the weight even without the weight. So what else to really note about these mice? Look, they're incredibly customizable. The Rat 8, I mean, they, there's you can you can take off this side pad, you can modify it with some other pieces. The uh, side here can also be adjusted. It can be tilted. I mean, the the customization on these mice is just like ridiculous. You can even take where your thumb position is and and pull it back and forward over there. Like it, it's it's a customizer's like it's the ultimate customized mouse experience but at the cost of weight it is always going to be a thing with these mice but and like i say they, they do have a flavor here for the fps gamer the rat 4 plus is fantastic uh sorry i'm just kind of putting this all back together so i don't lose any of the bits because it's cheapest i've never had a mouse with so many intricate pieces in it to be honest with you so this is a this is a first for me as well i mean and then the the actual tool for adjustment is in the back of the mouse. This is it over here. So then you can stick it in the side. Actually, it's not. I'm, I'm smoking tick. Oh, no, it is. It is. So, yeah, so check there. It's got the that positioning. And then, oh, there we go. Because I was just going the wrong way. Sick. Okay, cool. So there you can see it even starting to move that piece around. So then you can adjust this for the angle that you want it to sit at because it's spring loaded and then tighten it up. And adjust the positioning of the thumb thing so if they too far forward or too far back you can adjust everything on the mouse that is pretty cool and like i said the new pricing model is much 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 more attractive their build quality is still very good their overall presentation is fantastic the packages i'm actually going to undo one for you now you will have absolutely no doubt that you are the first person to open up this mouse when it comes to you new there are two stickers on the top over here I don't know if they should get points for or against packaging. I think that's one we will, we'll leave up to the comment section. <laughs> that's one. There's four, by the way. That's three. And four. All right. Then this piece comes out over here. Then this piece yeah, comes up. There we go. Finally. And then you undo this piece over here. And then you can undo there. And then this whole piece can come out. And then it's still molded into the plastic. This is the most intense packaging of my life. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They've made sure. I think they've spent just as much in the packaging as they have on the R&D of the mouse. Then, like I said, it's still locked into this plastic over here. Oh, there we go, finally pops out. And then you have it. And there is our mouse. And this is the little Rat 2 Plus. I mean, isn't that cute? Isn't it? It's like a, it's like a, I want to be a rat when I grow up kind of mouse. I mean, these are, I, I, I love really small tech as well. And these are just, these are just great little guys. Um, no, no fanciness on it, nothing extendable, adjustable, etc. Uh, unfortunately, on these normal, you know, rubberized cable. Hey, they give you a whole bunch of nice little stickers with it as well, which is just fantastic. Uh, so, in conclu conclusion, 
Rat is back, definitely should be on your radar. If you were into rats before, especially, then a six or an eight plus, a six plus or an eight plus for you, definitely you're gonna wanna have those levels of customization and be able to tilt and move your stuff around. He's going to be great for that the rat 4 if you're a bit more into fps and you want something lighter but you still want the rat shape and the adjustable back end point etc this will work it will do the job and then these little guys if you just want to have the coolest looking mouse in the office pretty much so thank you all so much for watching we do hope you enjoyed this review until the next time we'd love to see you on the flip side and all the lovely things okay bye